Hi, in this particular video, we would be briefly discussing how exactly we can publish the e-site for, for any particular event. So once we log in into the dashboard, if you scroll down to the bottom most option, we have the option of website builder. Once you tap on it, we would be accessing all the segments present in order to publish different elements on the e-site. Starting with the very first one, we have the design segment wherein like we can choose which particular theme we want for our particular e-site. We have options of two themes. One is a standard theme, one is a floor theme. Next, we can also update the theme color of the e-site as well and also change the background. In order to change the background, we have the option to tap on change. Under here, we have two options. Either we can add preset templates from here or we can upload one from our end as well once selected we tap on save in order to save it and also tap on update settings in order to publish it on the e-site as well moving on we have the second segment we have the content segment here, all the buttons present on the e-site would be available and accordingly, we have the toggles here in order to enable and disable any particular button or segment on the e-site as per requirement. We can also add a new button from our end as well by using the add content tab. We have options to either add a URL link which can redirect user onto another page or we can also add static content. Also, we have individual settings and edit content part for each particular tab present here. We can accordingly enable and disable and rename and also edit the content. Editing content of each of these tabs would basically redirect to the content area on the organizer's dashboard. Coming to the home page section, we have the option to add carousel with respect to the e-site. In order to add carousel, we have the option to tap this particular button. You can accordingly add the details here. Here also we have the option to choose from three added templates we can upload one from our end as well. Once done, we tap on save and also tap on update settings in order to push it onto the e-site as well. Coming to the last segment, this is the custom domain segment. Herein, we can change the URL of our e-site as per requirement. Once the Respective changes are done. We tap on update settings and in order to check the final We need to tap on preview website So this would be the final look of the e-site which has been populated as per the details added in the organization dashboard.